back at it with another Build Biology. This time, he's one of our favorites. Definitely one of your favorites. You guys have dubbed him as the king of the yard. It's Micah Diaz, What's everybody. Oh, yo, 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 turn that off. Turn it off. Bad. Turn it off. Hold on. Babe, zip ties. Babe. <laughs> This is my 2000 BMW 328i, I believe. You don't even know what it is? It didn't last long enough as a regular BMW. This car was a pile of crap when we got it, and now we just made it a prettier pile of crap. Hold up. We interrupt our program to bring you this important message. So if you don't know it, on Hoonigan.com, we have a notification squad, and we're giving away free things like the Torx Iron steering wheel and a bunch of other junk that we find here in the donut garage. Why should you sign up to the notification squad? Well, you get early access to our videos, you'll get limited edition products first, and you might even get some special discounts too. So if you want a chance to win free stuff like the steering wheel off the Torx Iron, <laughs> Make sure you sign up to the notification squad. The deal ends on April 15th. Every sign up has a chance to win things like this or any of this other junk that we decide to give away inside of Donut Garage. So click the link below, sign up, notification squad, free stuff, do it or else. It's a 328 chassis is what, from my understanding, I don't think these came in 325. Somebody can comment and correct me. All right, starting with the exterior, everything's changed, right? Absolutely. What do we got going on? Put an M3 bumper on it, Street Fighter LA blessed us with the most beautiful yeah, wide body bad. kit. That's pretty uh, wide. On the market. Yeah, it's fat, dude. This is a 18100 on top of an SLR ultra angle kit, and she still fits under the fender. But yeah, we got the Street Fighter LA kit. We have some custom wheels built by Three Piece US. How wide are these? That's an 18100. The rear is an 18 minus 40 ish by 11. What size tire are you running? That is a 235, 35, 18, and that is also a 235, 35, That's quite 18. a stretch in the bag, dude. Unfortunately, they don't make the size that I need to run in my series, so this mm. is by per rule book. Yeah. I have to run this size. But when we go into the other series, they don't have a tire rule, so we're putting their 265 on the rear. Yeah. And that's gonna be nice and meaty and get us some traction. So I've seen a change since last time. It was all white. Yes, yes it was. Sean Illingworth, actually, Sean's the dude with the red 370Z who came to the burn yard. That was sick. That dude ripped. I've been working with Sean since maybe the last three seasons, and this is a 2019 setup that he came up with. Designed it, he printed it, he wrapped it, he did the whole nine yards. Factory doors? <laughs> Factory doors, this is all metal doors. They still have the windows in them, which thank God, because our first round was raining. Yeah. So I got to roll those up. We have the plexiglass windows from Condor Speed Shop. Straight out the box, you throw them in, screw them on. Really? Yes. That's pretty cool, man. Did not have to cut it, they laser etch it. You can see the logo there. Laser. They laser etch the edge so that you can peel off just the edge, paint it black, install it, and then peel off the rest of it. That's and then it has sick. this nice black trim, just like factory windows. Wow. And my oldest brother, Steven Garcia, he made me these little protectors here, help protect the Street Fighter kit from when the tire explodes. Yeah. Literally brought the car and he was just like smack, 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 <laughs> bent it and was like, there you go. Is that round one? Yeah, I need to get an ain't care sticker for this portion. They wanted to rewrap it and I'm like, no, you're leaving it. But this is round one. There is some oil on inner bank two. Do you have some footage? And we backed it in. Babe, do we have footage of round two hitting the wall? <laughs> All right, man, let's get to the interior. Let's get, let's get what you got here. getting into you know pro-am stuff like this this is what you're looking at this is yeah. what you have to do so. yeah this is like highly budgeted built in my mom's driveway and a couple of buddies in their dad's driveway so don't judge my door jams being <laughs> blue all right this is stock stock color here yeah uh, a lot of people don't know that because i don't share my dirty secrets door jams are the original color of the car sweet man it's all about the details <laughs> all right <laughs> you have to run like your padding and things like that but the guys over at proper fabworks built us this roll cage and it's completely TIG welded. It's all up to spec. It's the right it's pretty gnarly, man. thickness of the walls and all that stuff. This bar actually here in the front is known as the Hail Mary bar. That kind of inspired the whole name behind the car. They yeah. said Hail Mary. It brought me back to football when you puck it and pray to God something happens. And that was kind of the idea it's kind behind of your driving this style car. Too, isn't it? It, it's, <laughs> it's kind of like a life motto. We built this car in 
three to four months from stock to pretty much where it's at right now. Yeah. It was really, really fast, last minute decision. I told the wife, it's only gonna be like a couple grand, dude. All the stuff from the 36 chassis will swap over. <laughs> it ended up being like 12 Gs or something like that. And I was like, I'm so sorry. <laughs> we went ahead and cut the dash all nice and high. We took that playbook out of some of the European guys out there that have these uh, chassis. And we did yeah. the switch panel in there. My buddy Anthony from Proper Fabworks wired up the entire car, chassis harness and all. A delete panel there for the dash. So now we're running an Ames digital dash, MXS Strata. I believe this thing can do so many more things than I'm even capable of understanding. <laughs> <laughs> like I, they're like, that's like one of the best Italian built dashes. But and I'm just like, I don't even know. Can't read my RPM. Water temp okay. <laughs> yeah, right. exactly. My wife and I run a company called Holdfast, and we make these steering wheels here. Mm -hmm. I don't have my delete plate, which is kind of embarrassing. What kind of business are you trying to run? Yeah, I know, I know. My street car. falling off. <laughs> it's dirty. Look, you didn't paint your door jams. My like, steering what? wheels are good, all right? Don't you look down here. <laughs> if you actually hit the ACC button, the Ooh. dash will come on. And then it says hold fast in there, too. And then we went with some Sparco seats. Yeah, that holds you in nice. That's a, Sparco that's a good seats, one. Sparco belts. We run the halo to protect the head from bobbling way too hard when you hit things. Now, is this a spec in, in your series? I thought that Did it was, and run? I told the wife that I needed to get one because yeah, I thought it was they're spec. expensive. Yeah, they're pretty expensive. And uh, yeah, you don't need it. Oh. <laughs> Hydraulic handbrake, fire extinguisher. One of the things that Dan actually noticed, a lot of people don't notice, is our window switches. Yeah. We got those mounted in, so they actually function and all that. That, I'm going to take that note into my own car because... Just move it forward. That's, oh, yeah. that's all I say <laughs> is put it like here. So Here you know, would be perfect because now so I'm like, like, I'm like, ah, come on, come on. <laughs> <laughs> Let's talk about your power plant. Let's get power plant. This is probably my favorite part of the car. <laughs> the guys over at CBM out in Rialto built me easily the sickest V8 I've ever had in my entire life. It's a 6.8 stroker engine, originally an LQ4, which is a 6.0 iron block out of like a, a Tahoe and pretty much everything yeah. that has a bunch of doors on it. It's giant from Chevy or yeah, GM. All bottom end work. So the crank, the rods, the pistons, and then it has uh, double valve springs, push rods, lifters, 360 trunnions for the rocker arms. Trunnion? And, uh, yeah, the trunnion. The trunnion. Set, trunnion. That's fun to say. Trun <laughs> <laughs> yeah, factory LS ones have a stop on them, so they can only push so far with a bigger cam. And so they sell 360 ones where you can hold it by the trunnion and spin the entire rocker all the way around so it eliminates any kind of lack of movement. Heads are stock, manifold stock, throttle body stock. And how much power is it putting out? 500 wheel horsepower. It's like 499.6, but I round up. Because yeah, I'm like, I'm not going to say 499. 499.6 is, like is a cool number. Give me a break though. 500. <laughs> 500 horsepower. <laughs> What are you hitting as far as RPM now? Cause I haven't really looked down. <laughs> I just kind of figured you wouldn't. If it bangs and I'm like, okay, then maybe we should shift up. <laughs> yeah. And I like the whole front end here too. This is nice. Yeah. The, the same guys, the dudes at Proper, Frankie and Anthony and Clint, these dudes, they got down. We cut the frame rails and added in FD legal <coughs> plating and all that stuff mm -hmm. to where we mount it to. But you can pretty much undo those two bolts, undo the four bolts on the bases. There's four up here, eight down there, undo them and the whole front clip will slide off That's the car. That's awesome. That's so you easy can service to get the motor out and all that stuff too. Yep. This is a big old radiator, man. Yeah, so in my 36 chassis that I brought here a long time ago when Vin and I were doing donuts in the yard, that was the rear mount radiator that was in that car. This was originally supposed to have a rear mount. We are gonna put it back there. And then, because I wanted to keep shoes on my feet, the radiator had to go in the front. Yep. And you can actually kind of see how tight it gets in there. The water pump pulley like projects into the fan shrouding. So Ooh. it's it's a well-packaged vehicle. The budget that we had and the time that we had and the tools that we had, this thing's come out phenomenal and I'm really proud of it. Whoa, this is huge. Yeah, so we had to do an external oil reservoir because of the Canton oil pan that we run. It doesn't have like a spot for it, mm -hmm. which is fine because I'd rather have it up here anyways. It makes it a little bit easier to service. It does get a little messier because it spills yeah. on it. Like yesterday, there was a bunch of oil built up, but I knew I was coming here, so I bought some brake cleaner and cleaned it off for yeah, you guys. Yeah. yeah, that's pretty much what we did. Just ruined the environment. So it's a good thing, but the car looks nice. <laughs> <laughs> but the car looks great. But let's get underneath it and see how much damage you've done to it. Damn it. This is 
is something I just want to say, okay? Everybody who makes a swap kit for a 36 or 46 engine mount wise for LS, they're terrible. Yeah. They're all terrible. Just Except right. for my boys at DR Concept. They make a super sick, nice bolt in swap kit. As far as like LS and T56 is concerned, obviously we have a different box in here, but those mounts are super legit. So we got a nice fatty a sway bar in the front end to keep the front end nice and planted. And then we have the car equipped with an SLR ultra angle kit. And then Condor Speed Shop makes like bushings and all this nice yeah, stuff. Those are sick. So these tuck and you have a lot more space. Way more space. These are legit. This is like my one of my favorite things they make. Once you lay you want to twist it? Over, yeah. Get it's gonna twist. it's probably gonna fall bam wow bam. you're the only person i think that's made this turn have you ever measured the degree on this i have no you? clue cool but I, you should check this out i got this custom bump stop right here it's called my barrel <laughs> and it works great dude. it's looking pretty polished yeah no it's legit we were yeah, using it real good we were using it big upgrade on the stock brakes yeah huge upgrade from stock to stock we don't need them i don't use them yeah. what are they for let's <laughs> move on we also have these beautiful er series bc coilovers which worked phenomenal in the rain some fatty headers american racing headers uh, the canton pan fits in really well with the dr concepts engine mounts look street. at this bell housing this it's is like an old keg man you see this is off my grandpa's tea bucket back <laughs> in the day just kidding, my grandpa was a carpenter. He didn't give us yeah. about cars. <laughs> this is old 350 bell housing. Yeah, and you just do a little bit of trimming and it pretty much bolts straight up to the LS. And then you can take and mount up a beautiful GSR four speed. They're dog so box. sweet. I love this. They're trainer. so small. Yeah. We dropped this thing out last week. I was kind of concerned about it because our throwout bearing decided to just start spewing out oil. What clutch are you on? I have a spec pressure plate, spec flywheel, and mm -hmm. then I have a clutch master's disc. So you kind of just swap them in and out. This trans, it, dude, it'll drop straight out. No problem. Undo the four bolts, undo the trans mount, and the thing just boom. We did ovalized exhaust so that we can uh, have the car at a decent height and not have to scrape everywhere, which as you can see. Is still scraping. Still scrapes. In the pan. And the pan. Yeah, Horse Thief got the pan a couple times. Yeah, Horse Thief does that. These are custom fuel lines. They have super proper mounting. You can see the zip yeah, ties. done really well. Out. And you got a winner's back here. Yes, we got a winner's brother's rear end. Uh, this thing has been phenomenal. It's just really just building the car to be as bulletproof as possible. Unfortunately, it doesn't always work out. This bad boy right here has drastically changed our driving ability and ability to just adjust things. So it's good plate. Too. Yeah, that was this used to sit about half inch off of there. We kind of <laughs> smashed it back up. And your trunk's gone. Yeah, the trunk's gone. We're not really getting any groceries anymore as of lately. Solid battery mount. Solid battery mount. You can do uh, pull ups on it. I'm fortunately too weak to do it, so I can't show you. So these are super rusted out because I didn't powder coat them like the way the guys told me I should have. I clear coated them and it is uh, not looking very well. These are proper Fabworks arms. So the guys who did my cage also sell these arms and the upper arm has a check mark shape in it and it allows for more clearance when you run your car at a lower height. I hit the wall at Irwindale. Mm -hmm. The whole right side of my car, passenger side, smashed it. My upper arm kind of bent a little bit and the lower arm, not a <laughs> thing happened to it. That's amazing. So I was like, oh, these arms are they're like the best arms in the market easily it's this factory subframe the guy before us did like some reinforcement plates as you can tell they didn't bother to weld that back side in which is amazing and very structural this chassis we're planning on using this chassis maybe for the rest of this season and then building a whole new 46 chassis yeah when you build a car you learn so much so that when you go into it next time everything's like 100 percent better like this car is probably 10 times better than my 36 yeah and now it's like we could build another 46 is 10 times better than this yeah because you learn everything about learn it so everything especially having all your track experience and going out and just smash it up and you're like well that's not working out let's yep. try something else so this car is near and dear to my heart but and it was also super sick on a man line <laughs> So what do you have left for this season, man? What are you doing? This season, we are gonna be going to the Burnyard. We're gonna be finishing up the Drift League series, and then we're jumping over to Top Drift, and we're gonna be competing in that with my new teammate, Nick Franco. He's got a 36 chassis mm -hmm. uh, with a 1J, so it's kind of cool to have yeah. the two different styles, right? <laughs> And then we'll kind of just see where it goes. Bashing and having fun. Bashing and having fun. Because I want to drive with you. 
Yeah, let's do it. Man, it's awesome you came by. Thank, Thank you. Bye. <laughs> <laughs> Bye.